Well guys, welcome to my course of Unleashing the Computer Systems Basic Concepts. This is lecture 1 and we will cover a little bit about computer's history, what is a computer and what it does. I will launch a video lecture per week, each one covering one of the main topics of computer systems that every computer user should know. Before starting the lecture itself, let's talk about the topics that will be covered throughout the course and how it's organized. Well, the course summary is exactly how we are going to cover and what we are going to cover it. So we are going to cover what is a computer, how it works, what are the main pieces that compose it, how they interact with each other, uh, what is a computer hardware, what is software, what is a computer network, and how it works. And we also cover what is a node, what is a multiprocessor, and multi-computer system, what is a CPU, central processor unit, what is a GPU, what is the difference between GPU and CPU in their applications. We will cover how to protect yourself from the internet and from other types of threats that, that the computers have. We will also cover the basic security concepts uh, what is a cryptography, uh, how to secure sensitive data, what is uh, an adware, spyware, worm, malware, virus, or any other plague that infests your computer, and how may you identify them. We will cover what is a software, how can you use a software to protect yourself from these plagues, and how to remove them. We'll cover what is a serial processor, multi-threaded processor, what's the difference between them and how can we work with this difference. We'll cover what are the network layers, the OSI model, what is a protocol, what is a bus, the standard main buses that we have in the market today. We'll cover what technology is used to develop a computer, the technology that will be covered is just the basics. We won't be going too much deep inside the technology stuff. We will cover what are the common names that industry use to refer to the logic and technology. As uh, initial structures and recommendations, this course will not have any prerequisites. You will develop your ideas in a step-by-step -step progressive way so that you understand the whole content of these lectures. This course will construct new ideas and deconstruct wrong concepts related to computer systems. During the lectures, you will learn in a step-by-step -step progressive manner so that you won't be overfilled with too much information. For optimal understanding, you will need to take uh, one class per day or in this case, we're going to develop a course with one class per week. We will not use any textbook, but we may use articles, PDFs, and some other supplemental materials, and maybe some textbook that is open source or available free on the internet for you to have a look. So, let's start. Well, I think most of you didn't hear the word ENIAC, or some may have word. The ENIAC was the first electronic computer and was developed in 1946. The name ENIAC means Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. This computer was developed during the World War II, and as you may guess, this computer is constructed with military purpose. It occupied an entire building of space. It also consumed a lot of energy. It was 150 kilowatts of energy. A normal computer consumes about 400 watts. So that's too much power for one single computer that does what a uh, Scientific calculator today does. Well, that's a photo of the ENIAC, one of the floors of the ENIAC. 
as you can see, it was not too much organized. Let's go to the computer definitions. Well, a computer is a general purpose device that can be programmed to carry out a series of arithmetic or logical operations automatically. Well, this information was acquired from the Wikipedia, as you can see here, and that's the, the best definition that I could find for a computer. But you may ask, a computer just does arithmetic and logical operations? My computer can see me, my computer can talk to me, my computer can work with my camera. That's not right. That's really not precise because you're understanding that your camera and the graphics of your computer are not arithmetic, but they are mainly arithmetic. All of this that you're looking at now, all of these colors and these this blanks and these this text is just a bunch of arithmetic and logic operations. You'll see throughout the course that this is just a way of understanding how numbers can be used to mean different things, to mean graphics, to mean numbers, to mean words. Everything inside a computer is just a number or a voltage. There was not just one computer at that time. ENIAC was only one of them. There was the Z3, the Colossus, the Mark I, the ABC, and uh, some bunch of others, but the ENIAC was by far the very first and very unique computer because it was electronic, it was faster. Most of these computers or were electromechanic or were less powerful than ENIAC. ENIAC was a very big mark on the history when compared to these others. That's why you won't hear too much about them. Well, thank you for watching and if you have any question, please email me or contact me in my website.